All right, so let's do our outlook. Our outlook for 2015 is really that this is going to be a central bank circus. Consider the fact that we are only in February, and already we've seen highly entertaining routines from the Russians, from the Swiss, from the European Central Bank, from the Danes, from the Australians, from the Canadians, Singapore, China. I mean, everybody's getting into the act. It's a really, really big show. Um, and never before, at least that I'm aware of, have central banks ever played such a central role in the daily marketplace. So let's do our predictions. So we do think equities could squeak out the year higher, but we think it's going to be pretty volatile, which you've seen so far. So volatility already this year is double basically what we had last year. So expect more volatile swings. In terms of size, we would expect large caps to continue to outperform small as people find comfort in, in some larger names. And valuations still favor large caps, although we're not as convicted about that this year as we were last year. In terms of style, earnings are going to be hard to come by. Those that are capable of growing them consistently should gain favor with the marketplace. In terms of domicile, it's my story and I'm sticking to it. Internationals are going to outperform U.S. equities this year, though I'll add a caveat that you may want to hedge currency, and so we've spent a lot of time working on that, change some things in the portfolio to get us more of a hedge position. In terms of U.S. interest rates, my guess is that rates just are going to be lower for longer. Um, there are a lot of economists out there, and, and when I was in China, I had an opportunity to see Paul Krugman and, and talk to the, the head of the IMF, and you know, they are sending letters to Janet Yellen saying, please do not raise interest rates. Larry Summers is banging the drum on that, too. So I don't know what's going to happen, but long rates are going to be held low by the international rate complex. Short rates are going to be at the whim of the Fed. My hope is they're, they're going to remain low. In terms of bonds, low, low rates basically means low returns for bonds. And in terms of the U.S. dollar, modestly higher, um, but there are events that can happen through the course of the year that could change the trajectory in a half an hour. So one of those events is March 18th. Of course, you all know what March 18th is, right? Real big day. That's when the U.S. Federal Reserve will come out with their FOMC minutes and will say whether they're going to raise rates or not, basically, in June. If they come out and say, we're going to raise rates in June, then what will likely happen is the dollar will strengthen and the stock market will tumble. If they come out and say, you know what, we've gotten cold feet about this, we're going to remain patient, data dependent, and we're going to push this off to the end of the year, um, then the dollar will fall and the markets will rise. So that's going to be a really big day. Um, paint your face, come to Waddell & Associates, we'll, uh, we'll watch the game together. <laughs>